will walk down memory lane. All right. And we will continue now with SU's all-time leading scorer, Lawrence Moten, joining us now played for Coach Beheim in the mid-90s. Lawrence, thanks. I mean, this is a treat for, yeah. uh, for us, man. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. We, we really do appreciate it. All yes. right, before we have you reflect, okay. we do want you to talk a little bit about how it all went down yesterday. It, yeah. it seems so odd and so kind of cold to many of us. Yeah. What, what, did, what are your thoughts on how it, it happened, the announcement yeah. of the coach retiring? Well, it was definitely an odd feeling, you know, uh, only because we lost mm. playing yes. against Wake Forest. So uh, I was actually watching the game at, at Clary Middle School with, with a couple of co-workers. And um, after it happened, 15 minutes later, my phone was ringing off the hook. <laughs> you know, we're in a group chat, me, Derek Coleman, Billy Owens, Sherman <laughs> Douglas, John Wallace. And I had, I had read one of the uh, texts, and it says, uh, Coach is retiring. So it was... It was it was kind of odd to hear at that time uh, when 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 I we, we I actually found out. But you know, um, coach has done great things for this city, uh, for the University of Syracuse, and uh, you know we don't want to see him go out like that. But you know. It's, it's time to move on. Right, and all the greatest players right there in the chat. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess that's for sure. That's well, I mean, you know, obviously we knew Coach wasn't going to be able to go on forever and ever. This, exactly. Someday this day was going to yeah. come. Exactly. Does it feel weird, though, to think he's not the head coach anymore? Yeah, I mean, yeah it's, it's definitely an odd feeling, you know, for the simple fact that, uh, you know, people say 47 years coaching, but, yeah. you know, when you really think about it, it's 60. Yeah, right. You know, with him going to school here yeah. and then coaching and everything. But, uh, like I said, um, I just think about all the good things he's done. Mm -hmm. People need to understand that. Of course, things have been rocky the past couple of years as far as wins and losses and everything and you know when you lose it's never good mm -hmm. everybody starts to blame it's just the nature of life you know but uh if anything i can say is just remember the good things that he's done for so many years and uh me and Derek coleman and the guys were talking last night and one of the things that uh you know he said that made sense you know when you really think about it is you know if it wasn't for coach Beheim me and those guys would never known each other. Mm -hmm. We've actually never met. So, you know, um, kudos to Beheim. You know, um, it was definitely a great run coach. Much respect, you know, and uh, on to your next endeavor. Yeah, well, you know, we'll have you reminisce now. Mm -hmm. What was it like to play for him? Oh, it was an experience, yeah. you know, he, <laughs> absolutely. Good, 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 good guy, you know, a lot of people always ask me, uh, you know, did he ever yell at you right. or anything? Never. Oh, I don't believe it. Come have, on. <laughs> didn't have to yell at a guy who averaged 20 that's points true. a game. That, 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 Please that believe is, that. So that I, I, I never got to yell. You know, I've seen it a lot of times. <laughs> and, and, and it was more of um, a motivation. I tell people, you know, sometimes when coach got on players, you know, it was more to try to motivate them. Mm. And, you know, in this day with the new breed, uh, when you yell, it's like they're calling the police. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's, a, it's a different time. You, you just got to know how to understand that everybody has a different emotion. Lawrence, I, I, got, I got to ask you here. I mean, give me one of those really, one of your favorite stories, <laughs> maybe one most yeah. of us haven't heard before. There's got to be well, some. Well, yeah, yeah there's, there, there's many, there's many. <laughs> but if anything, I can, uh, one that pops to my head, and it's always a good one, is, you know, we would, we would, coach would call a timeout, so we would all get in the huddle. He would diagram a play, and we would all say, one, two, three, cues, and we would go out. And he'd be like, Lawrence, come here. And I'm like, what's up, coach? Just get a bucket, son. I don't care how you do it. <laughs> so, so, so those. I don't care that, how you do it. I, yeah, I don't care how you do it. That's that's what he used to tell me. So, great memories from coach. Yeah. Great memories. And we got Adrian Autry coming mm -hmm. in. You played yeah. with him. Yes. Uh, you excited about him? I Take am. Over I am. I'm. I'm looking forward to this. You know, um, Adrian's a real good guy. You know, um, he's been in, in the Syracuse family for so long. Him and G Mac mm -hmm. and Alan yeah. Griffin. So, you know, we still got, you know, we still got orange in our blood. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? So uh, it's good. It'll be, it, it's, I'm looking for the challenge for him. And it's good that the kids will hear a different mm -hmm. voice. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, you have to hear a different voice. And, and, and Adrian's passionate about the game. From playing from a former teammate of mine, and I know he's going to motivate the guys and try to get the best out of them. 
And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to seeing him do some great things. But we as fans and, and people have to understand it's going to take time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not done overnight. It's going to take time. We're just going to have to ride with them and take the good with the bad. And uh, hopefully it's more good. I hope all the fans are listening right now. Oh, quickly, as great quickly. Advice. Why, do they, why is his nickname Red? His nickname is Red because he had the beautiful red hair. It's gone now. <laughs> yeah, it's gone well, now. Yeah. But he, he had the beautiful, beautiful red hair. That's my guy. Yeah, yeah. he's showing off. That great. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Lawrence Van, this you is really fun. Oh, I'm is so Thank thrilled you. to yeah. have this conversation you. with Thank you. you and, and I hope all of our viewers at home also enjoy it. I think it they did. It was so fun reminiscing no, with absolutely. you. I wish we had an hour. Yeah, and um, <laughs> we're going to go to break, and you get me in on that uh, that group chat text oh, yeah. with uh, DC <laughs> and, and Billy and all those oh. guys. All right. yeah, okay, we'll be right so back. you hear that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.